Hi, this is Matt with Fully Silent PCs. Several months ago, I was inspired largely by Fanless Guy, whose channel you can visit by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, to create a custom fanless case design. I thought about an extruded aluminum heatsink from heatsinkusa.com and looked for a cheap case that I could pair it with for a proof of concept prototype. I found the Streetcom F1C chassis and thought it would be perfect for my needs. Then I found this cheaper option on AliExpress and figured it would do the job just fine for testing purposes. At Heatsink USA, you can choose from a variety of heatsink widths and fin heights. I estimated the width and length that I would need to fit the case. I settled on an 8.46 inch wide heatsink with 1 inch fins and a 0.3 inch thick base and chose 8 inches for the length. I also had to find a way to connect the CPU to the heatsink for effective heat transfer. I ordered a CPU block and six heat pipes, also from AliExpress, to accomplish this. Fully Silent PCs has allowed me to use some tools that I otherwise wouldn't bother with. A drill press, thread tap, heat pipe bender, and a Dremel rotary saw were all needed for this prototype build. The heat pipes were bent like so to fit the case. One side would connect to the CPU block and the other would connect to the heatsink. The case's drive tray was cut to allow the heat pipes to pass through it, and the bottom of the case was cut as well to allow me to secure the heat pipe block to the CPU after motherboard installation. Eight holes were drilled into the bottom of the heatsink and were threaded to allow the heat pipes to be fastened to the heatsink. The fins on the other side of the heatsink were cut in four places to allow holes to be drilled to secure the heatsink to the case. This was really difficult and did not come out very cleanly, but it worked well enough for a proof of concept. Standoffs were used to provide a gap between the case and the heatsink. This was not necessary, but it made installation a bit easier and I figured it might help thermally to provide a little more ventilation. Here was the final assembly before installation of PC components. The CPU block was positioned to fit the specific mini ITX motherboard that I had planned to use. It took a lot of work to complete the whole assembly, over a dozen hours, but I did feel a sense of accomplishment in creating something truly unique. After installation of components, here was the test setup. I used a full ATX power supply for testing, but I would use an internal Pico PSU for a final build. I started by entering UEFI and setting 60 watt power limits. I used the i9-9900K to find what the limits of this custom case were. After starting a Prime95 stress test, core temperatures slowly increased all the way up to the throttling point in less than 10 minutes. I was quickly disappointed by the performance of this heatsink, but I continued testing to see what it could handle. I went back into UEFI and adjusted power limits to 45 watts. After half an hour of Prime 95's torture test, the average core temperature was 92 degrees C. This wasn't great, but was within safe temperatures, so I figured at this point the heat sink's limit was 45 to 50 watts. There was adequate thermal paste applied between all contact points, so I don't think installation was to blame. I was hoping that the heat sink would be able to handle 65 watts, but 65 watts turns out to be more challenging than I anticipated. Overall, this was a really challenging build that I would actually not recommend. With a different choice of heat sink, I'm sure that this could be more successful, but for the amount of work that this required, it would generally be a wiser choice to go with a mass produced fanless cooler. Something like this custom build is a possible option but performance here was not far from that of the Arctic Alpine 12 passive cooler, which sells for $11 and is obviously much easier to install. It really increases my respect for custom case builders like Fanless Guy and the companies that design and mass produce passive CPU coolers. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more Fanless PC content. Visit FullySilentPCs.com 
for a wide variety of fanless computers, custom built for high performance and reliability. Every PC purchase helps keep this channel alive. Thanks for watching.